Brandon Xavier Ingram, born September 2nd, 1997. Yo, what's up? It's your boy JC, Stunned Growth. Let's get it. There's really not too much to say about this guy, and not in a bad way. Ingram has always kind of flew under the radar, but just managed to always be in the conversation as one of the players with the most potential. The thing about potential, though, is when does it run out? When do people finally just say, it is what it is? Some players are just not as good as everyone think they are. I'm not saying Ingram is, but I also don't think he's this Kevin Durant everyone keeps trying to make him out to be. I get it. He has the same structure as far as a skinny dude that's really tall. Aside from that, he'll never be KD in no way, shape, or form. Let's get that out the way now. But let's get into what he could be and why he's not. Ingram played in a place called Kinston, North Carolina. Many people don't know, Ingram was a late bloomer. As a freshman in high school, he came off the bench. But by his second year playing varsity, he increased his role. And by this time, his varsity team had beaten their rival Cuthbertson for the second straight season to win the state championship. He averaged 12 points per game in his sophomore season. In his junior year, Ingram led the Kinston Vikings to a third consecutive state title where he scored 28 points to go along with 16 rebounds at North Rowan. During the season, the Vikings were undefeated in their conference with a 26-4 overall record, while Ingram was averaging 19 points, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks, and 1 assist per game, and was named the Eastern Regional Most Valuable Player. As a senior, he averaged 24 points, 10 rebounds per game, and led the Vikings to another state title. On April 27, 2015, he announced that he would attend Duke University and play for the Blue Devils in the 2015-16 season. Stunt number one, the KD comparisons. Brandon entered the season already with the comparisons looming of KD, and he didn't disappoint. In one year, he was actually living up to it, averaging 17 points per game and 6 rebounds, and he was the ACC Rookie of the Year. I just never thought his game was like KD at all, and the hype was unfair to Ingram. All everyone wanted him to be was KD, and he just wasn't that. A nice, strong second option is all I ever saw him as, but we all know how comparisons can shape a player. Stunt number two, drafted to the Lakers. On June 23, 2016, Ingram was selected with the second overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft by the Lakers. Being 18 years old at the time, he was the second youngest player drafted in 2016. Now being the number two pick is exciting, brings in a lot of money, but it also comes with unfair comparisons and expectations. Ingram had all these things. The biggest was the KD idea still looming over him. Everyone wanted him to be that for the biggest franchise in the history of sports. He was just not that from the start. Had he been drafted to a team like Indiana or Denver, or even the Clippers, I think he'd have a better situation for not only his game, but his demeanor and personality. Ingram never really had that superstar persona, game, or want. Almost like a Kawhi Leonard. He made his debut for the Lakers in their season opener on October 26, 2016 scoring 9 points off the bench in a 120-114 win over the Houston Rockets. And this was the story for him for most of the season. To keep it real, he was a disappointment, even more than I expected. In his second season, Brandon showed a little improvement, upping his averages to 16 points per game and 5 rebounds. But it just wasn't what was expected of him. These are rookie numbers, honestly. And now being in his second season, where players like D. Rose was already an all-star at that point, it was not what people wanted from him. Along with his demeanor was just not showing that he'd be a superstar, or much less a star they wanted. But his biggest problem came in his third season, when LeBron shocked the world and joined the Lakers. Stunt number three, the Kings in town now. I kinda had an idea what would happen to Brandon Ingram when LeBron joined the Lakers. This was a big third year for him, and having the best player in the game who actually plays your position come to your team was a big blow for his development. He tried to make the best of it by coming in early and working with the King, trying to be his Scottie Pippen, but it just wasn't enough. In LA, the eyes are focused on everything, and people saw that he was just never the Scottie Pippen LeBron needed. It was Kyle Kuzma all along, a 
guy drafted after Ingram and who I think was better than him from the start. But because of the physical comparisons to KD, he always got the nod over Kuz. He's not fucking with Kyle though. Through his first two games of the 2018-2019 season, he was averaging 14 points per game and four rebounds. Oh, and then there was this. Harden fouled by Ingram. Do they count it? No. They say the foul oh, occurred man. before the gather. And he never put the ball back down. And I think another technical foul's been handed out. Now Ingram looks like he's confronting Jason Phillips. Well, the now, technical foul was on Ingram for shoving James Harden after that play. I'm not sure why, what happened. Ingram was usually pretty mild mannered. It's hot now. Paul oh, punches a throw. Paul and Rondo throwing punches. Ingram comes in. He's throwing punches. In conclusion, I'm rooting for any player that made it and is doing something they love to do for a living. But a spade is a spade. Brandon is a role player. His growth was stunted from the day people compared him to Kevin Durant. He's a good player, but that's it. Let's finally put the cap on that. I'm JC, stunted growth, and I'm out.